I know it's been a while since I put out a video and I told myself I was going to try and do at least one a month, but that doesn't always work out. I've been busy building a lot of stuff for a lot of people, but I haven't had time to really film anything. So today we're actually going to build something. A few months ago, I was just going through YouTube channels, just watching videos, and I came across a guy over at uh, 3D Print Farm who burnt a Hulk onto a tile. And I thought, that's the coolest thing in the world. I, I want to try that. But damn it, I don't have a laser. So I bought one. I got the 20 watt laser, and so far I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll show you a couple of the ones I decided to try and do a Deadpool. And I also put epoxy on it. I'm learning how to do some epoxy work. That's tricky. I also did a, well, probably know what it is. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I like the way this one turned out. This was actually red underneath black. Actually, uh, most of the colors I do right now are red under black. But then I had to try a Hulk. I think that one turned out really well. And I also did an Iron Man. Probably hard to see with the glare. Not really going to go into the settings that I use for these. Maybe in another video I'll try and burn another one and try and figure out what settings I use. Because when I did these, I kept changing the program, but I didn't remember the settings that I used. Um, but that's not what we're doing today. Today we're burning some wood. And when I was a kid, I remember growing up, and in my grandfather's yard, he had a big, huge boulder. Probably weighed about 200 pounds, hanging by uh, chains from a tripod. And it was a weather rock. And first I thought that was kind of ridiculous when I was a kid. But I thought, you know what, I've always wanted one of those signs. But I don't want to hang a rock on my backyard. And since I actually really like Jeeps, don't have one right now. Used to have a CJ7. But I decided to make a Jeep weather station. And this was a lot of fun. This was for me. And it brings back a lot of memories. You know, the weather station when I was growing up. But it's... I, I like it. And now my sister wants me to make her one. But she likes moose. So that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to make a sign like this. But with the moose weather... Moose weather station. Um, may not go into too much detail of my settings, but I'll try to show you what I can because I'm still got to get used to filming my computer and as well as the laser. But stick around and uh, let's make a sign. So here we are in Lightburn, and let's go over to File, go to Recent Projects, and I'll show you the moose that I worked on. So here it is, got my different layers, uh, I'll shut these off and I'll show you the different layers. So the first one, you probably can't see it down here, but I decided to just put a little moose in there. Uh, you'll see when, when we get going, it's actually in a set of trees. And we'll put on the words. So, this is what it's going to say. I, I think she'll really like that. I think she'll get a kick out of it. The triple E, that's after my uh, great aunt. And uh, that's who my sister wanted to uh, name it after. So, there's that. And then we'll put in the moose. I put a moose in the background. I'm just going to lightly burn it so that you'll still see the silhouette of it. Found that on the internet. There's a website I go to and you can just get a bunch of free artwork that you can use. I think I'm going to start getting really creative and being able to add laser work to a lot of my projects. OK, 
Okay, let's put the wood in. I'm just using a regular piece of oak uh, that I bought from my local hardware store or local uh, big box store, you could call it over here. And I find that the oak burns really good. The pine, it's, I don't know, I just, so far I haven't had success actually burning in pine that well. I mean, unless you burn really deep and burn past the the knots and everything in the wood, I just have better luck with oak. Job origin I got in the lower left corner, so I'll click for the laser to go over to that. All right, let's put our glasses on. We'll turn on the laser just so we can see where we're at. All right. We need to bring the wood down a little bit. For some reason, it's right off the wood. I don't know if you can see that. It's right off the wood, so I'll do a little fine adjustments and I'll just get it over to the where I need it in the lower left corner. Right, let's frame it up, make sure that the laser is going to be in the area where I need it. So far, so good. I could speed up the laser, but right now I'm still getting used to the program and what the laser can do. And I, I don't want to turn it up too high. I don't know if it'll put a lot more wear and tear on it. But for now, I'm just going to keep it nice and slow. I'm gonna, I can move it over just a little bit. I've already got a piece of wood on the side over there, so I know exactly where that edge is going to be for this style of wood, because I've got a couple more of these to make for other people. So I want to make sure I get this tuned in so I never have to change it again. Let's send this to the laser, and we'll start burning. Now we're going to work on the outside. 
do the same thing as this one. We'll get the router to it, then we'll stain it, and then we'll paint the outside black. And we'll be all done. I think it turned out pretty good. So in between each clear coat, I tried to sand it down a little bit. Using 180, and because it raises up the grain, so I'm trying to bring it back down again. Okay, it's all done. I just took the masking tape off, and because I put a clear coat on it, and let it sit for a couple days, I taped off the edges, cut it with a razor blade so it was nice and sharp, and then I spray painted the outside. And because I put the clear coat on it, the spray paint didn't run in to the wood. And I just got done taking that off, and it's good to go. And I'm really happy with it. I think she'll like it, and I think it's going to turn out to be a really nice Christmas present. Which, I think these things are great Christmas presents, because it's personal. You find something that somebody really enjoys that's outdoors or... Maybe it doesn't have to be an outdoor thing, but anything, anything that they find enjoyable, however you want to put it. it. You just put it into a weather station. I think they'll really get a kick out of it. So, but I would like to thank again, Garrick over at um, 3D Print Farm for inspiring me to pick up a laser. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and that way you'll know when the next video comes out. And hopefully it's probably going to be within the next couple days. I'm going to try and do another one of these. Not this, uh, but another laser engraving project. I'm going to try and do the Vikings emblem. and But I'm going to do multicolored, and I'm going to try and paint it as I go. So that should be interesting. I'm going to try to do a step-by-step -step on that one. But please, stick around, and uh, yeah, if I don't see you... Have a Merry Christmas.